A viral picture of a happily married same-sex couple has set tongues wagging all over social media. Some congratulated the couple who beautifully displayed their love. But South African can turn any situation into a joke. The Imali Ininji hitmaker saw himself being a topic of discussion when some trolls spread misinformation regarding the viral picture. The American couple confused people as one of them looks like the rapper. The dread head had people mistaking him for Big Zulu, but he quickly squashed those rumors. However, according to Daily Sun, Big Zulu did get hitched this weekend but to a woman from Soweto. The lady, Lebo, is allegedly about to become Mrs. Nene as the rapper apparently paid Lobola for her. The publication deduced that the rapper was on his way to pay Lobola since he was spotted in Deep Cliff, and he was accompanied by his uncles and they were all dressed formally. It is reported that the woman stole Big Zulu's heart a long time ago and they have been together for years now. In 150 bars, Big Zulu came for Casper, Nasty C, Slick Talk, and Stogie T's career, KO, aka, MT and many others who think they are untouchable in the industry. He basically told them that he is not scared of them all. But he did not take aim at Aries though and he gave a few reasons why. I noticed that a lot of people questioned why did I not include Aries in the track, he started out. He went on to add that he does not really know Aries that well to the point of dissing him. He said the people he included in the diss track were people he knew some things about and so he spoke about things that are known and true. Maybe I need to release 200 bars. Some people I do not know very well. The things I said on 150 bars are things that are real and happening. So I won't just lie about a person. To be honest, I do not really know Aries that well, yes I see that he trends on social media but I do not know him. I'm not saying what he does is not right and I do not really know English that well, I cannot rap in English. Plus I last heard his songs on the radio during his time with the record label that exploits people, he said.